The Battle of Badr, which took place on March 15, 624, had significant implications despite involving a relatively small number of combatants. It solidified Muhammad's position as the leader of Islam and paved the way for the religion's future expansion. Muhammad, born around 570 in the city of Mecca, Arabia, belonged to the Quraysh tribe, which held power in the city. As a young boy, Muhammad was raised by his grandfather and an uncle after the death of his parents. As a merchant involved in the caravan trade, Muhammad became exposed to various intellectual currents in Mecca, influenced by both Jewish and Christian traditions. Around the age of 40, Muhammad began receiving divine revelations, claiming to have heard the voice of God imparting divine will. His teachings emphasized the belief in one God, Allah, the last judgment, the importance of charity, regular prayer, and surrendering oneself to the will of God, as expressed through his prophet, Muhammad. These teachings were later compiled into the Holy Book of Islam, the Quran, which Muhammad claimed to have received from God in visions. Despite gaining a few converts in Mecca, Muhammad and his followers faced persecution from the city's elite, likely due to their opposition to usury. As a result, they were compelled to flee to Medina in July 622, an event known as the Hijra. In Medina, Muhammad gathered his followers and organized the tribes into a community based on the revealed will of God. Concurrently, he waged wars against Mecca. Muhammad's initial military actions involved raiding Meccan caravans. In early 624, he ordered a small group of men to attack a caravan traveling from Yemen to Mecca. Disguised as pilgrims bound for Mecca, Muhammad's followers joined the caravan, recognizing that their actions violated the prohibition on warfare during the holy month in Arabia. They decided to proceed with the attack, justifying it by arguing that the merchants of Mecca committed greater sins. Muhammad faced condemnation for this raid, but he defended it by highlighting the sins of the Meccan merchants. The leaders of Mecca, seeking to eliminate Muhammad, used a rich caravan from Sinai to Mecca as bait to lure him into a battle where he would be outnumbered. Falling into the trap, Muhammad led approximately 300 men from Medina to intercept the caravan. The majority of his forces were on foot, with limited cavalry support consisting of only 70 camels and two horses. In contrast, the Meccans dispatched nearly 1,300 men led by Abu Jul. They were better armed and equipped, possessing approximately 700 camels, 100 horses, and purportedly half their men were in chain mail. However, the caravan leader, Abu Sufyan, learned of Muhammad's ambush and rerouted the caravan to a different path. He then informed Abu Jul that the caravan had safely arrived in Mecca. Hearing this news, around 400 of the Meccans, seeing no need for battle, deserted the army. Nevertheless, Abu Jul remained determined to destroy Muhammad and instructed his remaining forces to proceed to the wells of Badr, located about 25 miles southwest of Mecca, where they intended to celebrate the safe passage of the caravan. On the day of the Battle of Badr, Muhammad's men were strategically positioned at Badr, waiting for the approaching army led by Abu Jul. Upon learning of Abu Jul's approach, Muhammad called for a council on the evening of March 14th. Representatives from both his followers in Mecca and Medina pledged their support, and Muhammad made the decision to engage in battle. Following the advice of his second-in-command, Abu Bakr, Muhammad ordered all the wells except one to be stopped, and he positioned his men around this remaining well. On March 15, Abu Jul's men arrived at Badr, desperate for water as they were nearly out of it. They approached the only functioning well, which was located on rising ground. Meanwhile, Muhammad, seated under a tent, instructed his men to hold their positions and await his command to advance. In the meantime, they would defend against the attackers using arrows. According to reports, a sandstorm struck the Meccans as they advanced, causing their attack to falter. Sensing the opportunity, Muhammad ordered his force to move forward. The Meccan force was overwhelmed and began to flee, leaving 70 soldiers dead and another 70 captured as prisoners. Abu Jul, who had been wounded, was taken as a prisoner but refused to acknowledge Allah as the true victor. Consequently, he was beheaded. The victory of Muhammad's outnumbered, poorly armed, and ill-equipped force was seen by many in Arabia as a sign from God. This triumph significantly enhanced Muhammad's reputation, especially as a military leader. Had he been defeated at Badr, it likely would have led to his demise. Instead, he emerged as the leader of a rapidly growing religion that would soon come to dominate North Africa and the Middle East.